Hey guys, Ivan here. So since nothing happened today, literally nothing, nothing video worthy, I just decided to go back to 2014. So let's do a little throwback and uh, let's revise this 2014 Mr. Olympia, which is, by opinions of some people, a little bit controversial because many think that Kai was actually robbed, that Phil Heath did not deserve to win this show. And if you guys followed bodybuilding back then, you know that there was no Nick Strength and Power. Maybe there was a channel, but he wasn't as popular as he is today. What we did have was Louis Marco. And I followed Louis Marco. I loved his channel. He was very enthusiastic and uh, I liked him, but I didn't really agree with many of his opinions. And this is one of them. For example, he thought that Kai was robbed. Not only this Mr. Olympia, but multiple competitions. He thought that politics happened and that that's why Phil Heath won all these shows. Not exactly all of them, but some of them. And uh, 2014 Mr. Olympia is one of them. So let's go back, let's check these HD photos and let's see. Was Kai Green really robbed? Did Phil Heath deserve to win it? Let's go, let's start with our first pose. So the very first pose that we're gonna analyze here is gonna be front double bicep. One of the most important poses in bodybuilding, basically. I'd say none of these guys is very, very efficient in doing this pose because of their stomachs. They both had bloated stomachs and not super defined, sharp uh, abs and also not very small waist. So that's the core, that's the middle of this pose. That's what you're looking at first and you can notice that immediately. So not a great pose for either of these two guys. But let's go, let's check the muscle, actually, not just the core. And as you can see, if you look at the, their arms, you may notice that Kai definitely does have more peaky biceps. But if you look at his left bicep, there is a huge gap between his bicep and a forearm. So Phil has a little bit fuller arms, but Kai does have better peaks. Now, if you take a look at their chest, Kai's upper chest is lacking. And Phil has very dominant upper chest, actually. But the flow that Kai has maybe is a little bit better. Phil's pegs are looking like two slabs of clay just put on his body. There is no flow, but it's probably thicker than Kai's, so I guess Phil is winning in that regard. Now, if you take a look at the lats, Kai is definitely wider, but Phil's waist may be even smaller. Indeed, Phil's stomach is more bloated than his abs are even more blurry than Kai's. But just the waist compared to lats, I think Phil has smaller waist genetically, but it's not as defined as Kai's. Kai has a little bit better separation, but Kai is just too blocky. His waist is genetically very wide. Now, if you go downstairs, you may notice that Kai's legs, Kai's quads are just better. They just are. I think they are. I think you can say that. I think Kai's legs are a little bit more grainy. You can see veins on them. And when he flexes those quads, you can see striations, which you can never see on Phil's quads. I'm not saying that Phil has bad quads, his legs are also world class, but there is a, li a tiny little difference between them, and I would say Kai has better quads. As far as scales, they're both very good, which is not really something you can see very often these days, but these two guys both had great calves. So this pose overall, who would you go with? Well, you can analyze body part by body part, but if you take a look at both of them at the same time, just the overall impression, I would go with Kai. What do you think? So let's go to back double bicep. As you may know, if you follow my channel, when I'm doing these comparisons, I like to go first with front double bicep and then I go back to back double bicep. And I think back double bicep is either second or first most important pose in bodybuilding. And both of these guys are very, very good at hitting this pose. So let's go bottom up. First of all, cows, very good in both of them. Pretty much identical. Very, very good cows. Now, if you go to hamstrings, I think Phil Heath has the best hamstrings in the history of the world. The most defined hamstrings. A lot of, a lot of details in them. But Kai's hamstrings are super massive. So maybe you can give a point to Kai here. Because, not a negative point, like it is in bodybuilding judging, but a positive point. Because Kai's hamstrings are just very massive. Bigger than Phil's. And they're probably equally as shredded here. Phil's, Phil's hamstrings got shredded a little bit more a couple of years later. 
I really liked him in 2018, actually. I think in 2018 his hamstrings were peeled. The rest of his body, not so much, but hamstrings really came together. Let's go now to glutes in 2014, of course, and the Kai's glutes are bigger. They are kind of square-shaped and overall more massive, but Phil's glutes are very, very defined, very dry. And whatever you prefer, I mean, whatever impresses you more, but from the basically whole lower body from this side, I think I'd go with Kai. Yeah, I feel it's maybe a little bit drier, a little bit, but look at the, the quad sweep on Kai. Compare it to Phil, and also the inner part of their thighs. Just the overall mass of the legs. I think his whole lower body, Kai's lower body, is better. And it is longer than Phil's. Yeah, Phil is a little bit leaned backwards, a little bit more than Kai, which makes his lower body look even smaller, and the gap between his feet is also bigger, that's how he does this pose. So it may seem that his legs are shorter, but they are pretty much the same size, the same height. But yeah, Kai is also known for having long legs and short torso. But I don't think that's a... I don't think the difference is this big, as it seems here. But yeah, it's the case, for sure. So now let's go to back. As we already said, lower body Kai, in my opinion. Now we go to back, and if you look at spinal erectors, you can see them at fields, you cannot even see them at Kai's. Kai's lats are so thick that they basically cover his spinal erectors. And that's just a muscle that Kai is not very dominant at, because, I don't know, it's just his structure. He doesn't have the most dominant uh, spinal erectors and also traps. So that's the next thing you need to pay attention to. Huge difference. Huge, huge difference. Phil's traps are just more massive. They are enormous. Look at the neck. Look at, look at Phil's neck. It's crazy how bigger it is. His neck is huge. It's bigger than his head, literally. I mean, a humongous neck. A lot, very, very big traps. On the other hand, Kai's traps, not that good. Not that great. And as far as shoulders, I'd go with Phil also. As far as biceps, Kai's biceps are peaking a little bit too much. It seems like too eggs, literally. They don't seem natural, and that's what I don't like. When a muscle doesn't seem, you know, normal, when it seems freaky like this, this is just, I don't know, doesn't look like muscle, it looks like literally two eggs on top of his arms. It's a little bit too much. And also the tricep sweep, so the length of Phil's muscle bellies is showing here very well. Also with uh, his uh, forearms. Compare his forearms to Kai's forearms. Huge difference. Brachialis also, radio brachialis. Huge difference. The only thing that Kai has here is, yeah, lower body, but not by too much, and thicker lats. But overall, I'll definitely go with Phil. And I think this pose is why Phil actually deserved this victory. Let's proceed to the front lat spread. I'd say third most important pose. One of my favorite poses, I really like to see a good front lat spread, but since uh, Dorian Yates, we haven't really seen any very, very good front lat spreads, and also before Dorian. So Dorian is one of the rare bodybuilders who were really able to hit front lat spread properly. But as far as here, I'd go with Kai. And I don't think I, don't think I really need to analyze this, because, for example, look at the gap between the forearms of Phil and of Kai. A much smaller gap at Kai's, right? So that means that uh, Kai's lats are much wider, much bigger. Now, genetically, structurally, Kai is wider through the shoulders, and it shows here. Phil is just too narrow and too tight through his chest and shoulders, and he looks awkward in this pose. He's kind of struggling to hold it. I don't think he's really struggling, that's how it looks. He's not relaxed at all. And also, if you can see, you cannot see actually any separation in his abs. So you cannot see anything. It's just a huge emptiness. While on Kai, you can see the abs. You can count them. You cannot do that with Phil's. No way. Now, yeah, you can see bigger arms, bigger forearms, fuller arms on Phil, but that's not really that important. And if you go to legs, you can see that Kai definitely has bigger legs, but now you can see better separation on Phil. But I don't think that's too obvious. I still think that Kai looks better in this pose. So, out of these three poses, Kai won two. 
but I don't think I deserve to win this Mr. Olympia. That's one thing that I always disagreed with Louis Marco back in the day. I always felt the need to tell him that I don't agree with him, but who was I back then? Nobody. Nobody cared about my opinion. I was commenting on his videos, but nobody would listen to me. Maybe I would get a few likes, but that's about it. I always thought Phil deserved to win. I always thought Phil was better bodybuilder. And so we come to back lat spread, and as you can see, Kai is definitely overall bigger. He's just a more massive bodybuilder. And as far as this entire pose, you could make an argument that Kai is better. Yeah, yeah, you could. Overall legs, much bigger than Kai, much bigger. Look at the outer sweep, especially on his right leg. It's just popping out. It's literally popping, it's crazy. Also the hamstrings, much more massive. Glutes, same thing. Not as dry, not as conditioned, not as separated as feels, but bigger, more massive. A lats, not even close, not even a comparison. I mean, Kai's lats are much, much thicker, much more massive than Phil's. It's, it's not even comparable, literally. Look at the width that Kai has. Through his shoulders and down through his lats. One of the thickest lats ever. But what Kai doesn't have and Phil wins here is uh, the traps, the details in the traps. Look at how separated Phil's traps are and how popping, how 3D they look. But is that enough to win him this pose? I don't think so. Yeah, the only thing that he has here is bigger traps and more defined glutes. But the overall impression that I get, I would say Kai looks better. I'd say Kai looks better. He's more massive, he's more complete. Maybe a tad more watery, maybe Phil is a little bit sharper, but still not enough to beat him. I think Kai won this pose. And so we come to a side chest, and here you can also see Sean Roden barely hanging with these two monsters here. And if you look at Kai, now this pose is good for Kai because he shows a lot of mass, especially through his lower body. And also he's able to hide his stomach with his uh, arms. Phil is not really doing that very efficiently. I think the way that he hits this pose doesn't allow him to place his hands uh, that way that, so he can actually hide his stomach. And also his torso is a little bit longer than Kai's, so it's not really easy for him to do that thing as well. But still, he is also hiding it a little, although you can see it a little bit more than you can see Kai's stomach. Anyways, as far as squats, Kai's squats are bigger. Hamstrings also. Glutes look pretty much the same to me. As far as their arms, Phil is definitely more dominant in the arm department, but here it's not that obvious. Because you can see bicep peaks on Kai, you cannot see that on Phil. Phil's arms look like two large pieces of bread. And uh, they are just huge, but they are not really as defined. And uh, Phil's shoulders are better than Kai's, but still they are not as defined. So, I guess... Phil is losing this pose. The only thing that Phil actually has is a chest. And yeah, I know what you're gonna say, it's side chest, but that's just the name of the pose. It does not mean that you must show your chest and it's all about chest. No, it's not. It's about the whole body. Who looks more impressive? Well, that chest of Phil is actually so prominent, so crazy looking, that it can actually grant him a victory in this pose. But it's questionable. I think you can go either way here. Kai has more massive legs. Phil has more massive chest. Phil's arms are bigger. Kai's arms are more defined. Phil looks wider though. He does this pose a little bit better. So you can go either way. I can't really decide. I can't really decide. It's very close. Definitely not Sean though. No way. He wasn't out of the oven yet back then in 2014. He came out of the oven in 2018, that was his year. We'll see how he looks in 2019, if he shows up, if they let him compete. Probably won't, but maybe. Anyways, this pose, very close, you can go either way. But let me just say, if I have to say Phil or Kai, I think right now I would go with Phil. Yeah, I think Phil looks more impressive. Now this pose, absent eyes, I said before that definitely not Sean inside chest. And some of you may say it's not fair to Sean to post a photo like this where Sean wasn't even flexed, not even in a pose yet. But it's not about him, <laughs> it's about Kai and Phil. I'm sure Sean looked better than them in this pose, but he wasn't flexed here. He wasn't fast on the trigger, I'm sorry Sean. Let's go to uh, Phil and Kai right now. So if you take a look at their legs, let's go bottom up. Uh, that's the best way, I think. I like to go bottom up, usually. 
So, if you take a look at their legs, their quads, there are feathers on Kai's quads. Yeah, there are feathers, you can see them. And there are no feathers on Phil's quads, but that's not a, a metric, that's not a judging criteria, having feathers or not having feathers. It's about who is more defined, who has deeper cuts, who is overall more conditioned. You know what conditioning is. And Phil also has great details. So as far as their legs, I would even go with, uh, with Phil here because he's posing better with them. I don't know if this is the only variation that Kai does with his quads, but here, yeah, the feathers are there, but the inner part and the upper part of his quads is really showing a lot of blurriness. And he was blurry. He wasn't super dry as Phil. Phil actually was very conditioned. But it's close, although I would go with Phil. Now, as far as their stomach, as I said before, Kai's waist is a little bit wider. Phil's waist is a little bit more narrow, as well as his shoulders, you know, as far as his upper body too. But if you take a look at their, uh, actually, abs, they are close. Neither of them is very good at this pose. They are both horrible, let me say it. They are both horrible in this pose, but I think Phil is more horrible, if that's even a word. Is that a comparative to the word horrible? Yeah, you cannot say horrible. Or <laughs> so yeah, Phil is definitely more <laughs> horrible here. And um, his belly button is popping out. I don't know if that's his hernia or something else. I'm not really an expert in that field, but I'm not <laughs> an expert in bubble guts. I'm sure Louis Marco would know. I Sure, he would have a pretty good guess, but I don't know if he would know because he's not really up there. He never really competed. He never really had a bubble gut. Maybe other bodybuilders who actually experienced that would know better. But anyways, I'm getting off the topic. Uh, as far as their stomach, you can go either way. Because of the narrow waist, you could go with Phil. But because of the details in the, in the stomach, in the abs, and because of the absence of that hernia or belly button popping out, you could go with Kai. As far as uh, their lats, Kai's lats are definitely wider and popping out more. And uh, Kai's biceps are looking bigger, so his arms are just looking bigger. So you can go either way, but me personally, yeah, Phil has better, uh, better details in the quads, but overall I find Kai's physique more impressive in this pose. That's right. To be quite honest, I lost the count. I'm not sure who has more poses by this point, but it seems like Kai is winning, actually. Huh. I said that Phil is actually winning this competition, but right now it seems like Kai is doing better. Hmm. Let's go with the next one, as you can see right here, uh, side triceps. And I couldn't find a, a photo of them both hitting side triceps at the same time. But I photoshopped two photos and I don't know if you can even notice it. I think it's a pretty good photoshop. But you can see that it's not really same photo, it's two photos. Anyways, you can see it very clearly. It's very proportionate, it's, it's the right proportion for sure. Um, as you can see right here, uh, the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes as well are more massive on Kai. So basically we established that even before. Kai was definitely bigger through his lower body. But as far as their upper bodies, you just take a look at Phil's triceps, biceps, forearms, shoulders, and it's just too much. It's just too much for Kai. Even though Kai's legs are bigger and uh, his stomach is actually tighter, you cannot give this one to Kai because of Phil's arms and chest that just enormous, very full, very round, very big, also great conditioning. Yeah, I give this pose to Phil. I have no doubt about that. Yeah, he wins this one. And so we come to most muscular pose and uh, Phil's face says it all. He's just so confident in this one because he knows he's destroying everybody in this stage. No doubt about that. His uh, hands clasped, Mosca Muscular is one of the best of all time. Not one of the, the best of all time. I don't think anybody can reach him. Nobody is at his level when it comes to this pose. Nobody has arms this full, chest this full, and overall the lines and the freak factor that Phil has. Especially not Kai, definitely not Kai. Look at Kai's arms. It looks like Palomboism right here. His arms are completely melted and his upper chest shows zero definition. His traps are also not that good. His uh, legs are melting. And this was 2014. Now it's 2019, five years later. What do you think? How Kai looks on the stage? Is age really getting to him? He is getting older. He's in his mid 40s, maybe even late 40s. I'm not quite sure. But definitely, as far as this falls, 
Phil was destroying Kai, he was absolutely annihilating him, it wasn't even close. Even this variation of Kai's most muscular hands on the hips, which is looking much better than crab pose, much much better, still, standing next to Phil, he looks like a child. He doesn't look anywhere near as good as Phil. So, I have to give it to Phil, I mean, I don't even need to think about it. And this right here is another reason why Phil deserved to win, because he really wanted to win, he really wanted it. He did what Arnold did back in the day when uh, he won against Sergio Olivia. They were posing and Arnold says, okay, let's go in a backstage and they went to backstage and Arnold came back and continued hitting the poses and eventually he won. Apparently the same thing happened here in 2014, Mr. Olympia. Phil Heath just had that fire inside him. Kai, not as much, not as much. He was kind of tired of everything. And after this year, he retired. He retired, I mean, at least from competing at the Mr. Olympia. He kept competing in other shows, but Mr. Olympia was way up to his head. He had no desire to win it anymore. I hope he gets that fire back and he shows up in 2019 or next year or whatever. But as for now, no, Phil Heath is the champ 2014. I think he deserved it. Judges can see this kind of stuff. When you have the fire inside you, when you hit the poses more aggressively, when you stay on the stage when everybody is leaving, and when you have that kind of back double bicep and this kind of most muscular, I think that's usually enough to win your Mr. Olympia. But no, I did not choose this Mr. Olympia accidentally. I chose it because it was very close. It was very, very close. You could go either way. So I'm gonna leave it to you guys. Tell me down below, who do you think won it? Based on these comparisons on these HD photos. I know it's not the same as watching it live, but it's as close as it gets. It's better than some poor quality video. HD photos are much better, that's for sure. So whatever you think guys, tell me down below. And I hope you had fun watching this video because there is nothing interesting happening in the industry right now, so we had to do a little throwback. And I had fun talking about it, I hope you did too, watching this video. So if you did, like it, and if you want to see more videos like this or any kind of bodybuilding related videos, subscribe to my channel. All the best guys, bye bye.